Brew Two Beer Review. Well, you can tell by the setup, guys, that it's big beer time. Why? Because I've got nothing but a bottle, a glass, and my bottle opener. And what big beer are we going to have tonight? Well, we're going to have a big beer from Fulton Beer Company out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, US of A. Yay, yay. And what beer is that? It's going to be their War and Peace. Now, War and Peace is what? It's a coffee Russian Imperial Stout. You know I'm loving that. I love me some Speedway Stout. I love me some Espresso, um, let's see, Imperial Russian Stout from Stone. Those both rock. Now, this particular beer, you're saying, DJ, ain't no way you're getting this Minneapolis beer in Maryland. What up with that? This beer comes from Rich at Rich's World Beer Tour. Thanks a million percent of this, man. You are freaking awesome. Without you, I would not get to try this beer. And that is, that's just really freaking cool. That's why we do, like, beer trades and stuff, right? So we can get all those inaccessible beers that we want to pour down our neck. Yes, that's right. So, what are the stats on this beer? This is 9.5% ABV and 81 IBUs. Now... Why are they calling it War and Peace? War, I guess, is like the Russian Imperial Stout side from Fulton Beer. And the Peace side is Peace Coffee, which is organic, dark roast Guatemalan coffee that they put in at one pound per barrel when they brew this. And they leave it on those whole coffee beans that are dark roasted for an entire week. So this sounds totally freaking delicious. I love me some Russian Imperial Stout, and I love me dark coffee. So, yeah, it's time to drink. So I'm going to shut my hole, get the top popped on this, get it on the glass, and tell you what's up with the war and peace. Let's see. Oh, man, this doesn't want to come off. Jeez. Oh, there we go. Man, that was cranked on there tight. Lovely Fulton Beer Crown. Now, let's get in the box. Yeah. Look at that motor oil, guys. That's pouring dark. They talk how, like they use an obscene amount of roasted malt and all that good stuff. Not a huge head on this beer, but Nine and a half percent, you don't expect that, right? Maybe you do, I don't know, depends on the day. So, look at that. We've got total jet black beer. Ain't no light coming through that super dark head. We've got solid two fingers poured into that snifter. Really dark, kind of brown head. Actually, light brown head. Darker than khaki, but light brown. But ain't no light coming through that beer at all. Lovely looking beer when I swirl it. Getting some instant glass lacing and some clingy alcohol legs. Dig into the glass. Wow, tons of alcohol legs. Real coating, too, on the inside of the glass. Wow. Let me get a nose on this, because I'm ready to dig in, boy. Man, big coffee. Big chocolate. Caramel. Mm, sweet bready malt. Toffee. Dark and milk chocolate, both. Man, this reminds me, because today I had a long day. I'm ready for this big beer. Why? Because I brewed up a big-ass Russian Imperial Stout with one of my oldest friends. Shout-out to you, Charlie, if you're watching this video. And that bad boy's clocking at, like, 13 or 13% 13 ABV. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to get a taste on this bad boy <sighs> and tell you what's up with the war and peace. Cheers. Man, that's nice. Wow. Right up at the front, the coffee's right there. Wow, really nice dark roast coffee. It's not over the top. It's really integrated in well. As in the aroma, there's no booze in the taste. It's got a full medium body, really nice mouth coating. Goes down super smooth. It's got sort of a zippy carbonation, a lot like um, Imperial Russian Stout does from Stone, and also Speedway Stout. Or Mailsmith, but man. That coffee's nice. I know this is fresh because this bottle comes out in February. And I just got this from Rich. And as soon as I got it, I said, man, it's time to review this bad boy because it's got coffee in it. Man, nice coffee. It's got a really nice balance between the dark roast of the malts that are in this and then the dark roast of the coffee. So you're getting that interplay between the chocolate and toffee and coffee and all those things that you want out of a Russian Imperial Stout. Drink's really easy for what it is. The only way I detect the alcohol in this beer is I'm getting a little bit of warming in my chest. But, man... It invites you back to drink because it has a semi-dry finish to it. Really smooth beer. I'm drinking perfect temperatures, about like 55 degrees, I think, right now, 53 somewhere. That's what it feels like in my mouth anyway, but, man, spot on carbonation, like I said. Super smooth, easy drinking beer, dangerously easy drinking because you could put this 750 down, or at least I could, without any problem and not notice, and you'd be cronked <laughs> in no time, but... Wow, that's a well-made beer. And look at that when I swirl it, guys. Nice and coating on the inside. That's what you want out of a Russian Imperial Stout. Man, this is a tasty-ass beer. So, what do we give for a grade on this beer? So, Rate Beer is giving this a 97. 
real high A. Beer Advocate's giving it a 94. You know what? Though I don't usually do it, I'm going to go along with right beer. I'm going to give it close to that A+. plus. I'm going to give it a 96. Real high A. Really tasty beer. Very well made. Very good representation of the style. The alcohol is in balance. It's got nice coffee flavor. Nice chocolate and other flavors and stuff that you're expecting out of a Russian Imperial Stout. And I like that ro the roast in the interplay of the malt with the roast interplay of the coffee and dark chocolate in it really brings good flavor to the table. And you see I'm geeking out, cause, and I'm going to be a happy camper finishing this bottle tonight while I'm chilling out, maybe watching a little YouTube, answering some videos. God knows. Anyways, guys, so if you would do something really important for me, if you have had this beer, give me a little you know, quid, pro, quid pro quo, little comments in the comment section, let me know what you think. And also, if you would think globally and drink locally and support the craft beer movement, dude, I would really totally dig that. That would be That'd be freaking awesome. So, to the next time, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a million for watching. I got nothing but, psh, damn, a bunch of love and a big ass pizza. Yeah.